Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Family Roots, where we talk about everything family history related. Today, we're going to be going over how to search for records within Family Search. So I'm currently on the home page, which is the first thing that you should see after you have logged into your Family Search account. From here, we are going to go to the top ribbon and hit search. Here we can go under images, family tree, genealogies, records, books, research wiki. Um, the differences between a lot of these different things is going to be if it has been indexed or not. So I'm going to go to records where it has typically been indexed. So here we can search for people based upon their name, place, and year. So I'm going to um, search for Nancy Jones, who is an ancestor of mine. She lived in North Carolina. And we can choose either a birth or a death year or maybe just a residence year. Uh, she was born in 18, oops, 1823. About approximately. Now here we can choose to have more options which will give us um, the birth or marriage or death or residence. We can add a spouse. Um, parent or possibly a child, we can say this is going to have to be very, very exact. So she has to be born in 1923 in North Carolina um, and it won't give us any other options. There's no range here. We can choose the location type or possibly if you had the batch number, you'd be able to search there. I'm just going to hit search for the simple ones that we've done. And here we can see the different records that have popped up. Um, a few things about searching this way is that when you see the pedigree icon, that means that it is already attached to a person. And if you click on it, you will be able to go to see that person. I'm going to hit the back. And now here we can scroll down and see the different relationships that they have, their events, um, and what type of record this is. Here we're getting a lot of marriage records that were from 1827, but if I change this to a birth in North Carolina in 1823, instead of just being in there, it will give us a better search. So all of these have been attached. We can also see the image that has been indexed that we have searched for. And we can see the different people that lived around them or lived near them or in the same home. We can also see the indexed version if we go to the record details. Now, if we wanted to attach this to our ancestor, we decided this is the correct record for them. Then we would be able to hit attach to tree, and then we would be able to choose which Nancy Jones that we wanted it to be attached to. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to ask them down below or you can email me at familyrootsyt at gmail.com. Everything will be down in the description. So thank you so much. Have a great day.